Mm. Fellows, uh, thank you and God bless you once again for joining me on Africa, my heritage TV. This, as usual, is your boy and your host, Kwame, the African child. Please don't forget to subscribe to become partner to Africa, my heritage TV. And please, after subscribing, kindly also hit on the notification bell icon to enable you to receive alerts on all new videos that we have put together. Please use the comment button under the video to enable us to stay connected also. And kindly also like the video if it is appealing to you. So you see, this is where the uh, great ten tennis players are born. You see, they all start from here. The likes of uh, uh, Roger Federer, the likes of uh, Venus Williams, all the Williams sisters, uh, the likes of uh, 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 Akako Golf. You see, they all start from here. Uh, all the great uh, tennis players that you know across the globe, they all start from elementary school. So I'm showing you the tennis court for an elementary school. So you can see the kids practicing. See, you can see the kids playing. See, so they give them the opportunity that as you are schooling, you are not only expanding your playing faculty, but you're also bringing out all the skills in you. Because mind you, uh, in the Western world, they really understand education. They know academically, it is not all the children that are going to uh, pick up whatever they will be taught in school and thus uh, decide, and thus decide to maybe pursue it as a profession. As much as they are all going to learn mathematics, as much as they are all going to learn the science, as much as they are all going to learn geography, as much as they are all going to learn anything relating to their field of study, they know that it is not all of them that are going to pursue it professionally. So at the same time that they are learning and expanding their mental faculty, we have to also make sure that we are going to introduce sporting activity to them. We are going to show you how to play tennis. We are going to show you how to do swimming. We are going to show you how to play soccer. We are going to show you how to play baseball. We are going to show you how to play uh, football. We are going to show you how to play basketball so that after your studies, if you feel like you don't want to pursue mathematics you don't want to pursue science you don't want to pursue geography you don't want to pursue education you don't want to pursue uh finance finances then you can also uh take the sporting activity that you specialize in as a profession so if you look at this case if you look at this case playing this basketball runner on the court it is possible that whatever they may be studying in school they are not going to see it as their profession after their years of study it is possible that they can but they can keep on practicing this and become professionals in it and keep on improving their skills and at the end of the day may decide to pursue this professionally to become professional tennis ball players are you understanding so this is how the system needs to be working in africa it shouldn't always become like you have to go to school and pursue the school career we have to give many options besides schooling we have to give many options besides schooling to enable the children to thrive so this is elementary school this is elementary school and it's having all these facilities this is elementary school and it's having all these facilities so it enables the kid to choose from many options it enables the kid to be able to identify him or him or herself with any career he or she would want to pursue it is not like in Africa that you have to become the best in education. You have to become the best in your studies. You have to become the best in examination to make sure that you can uh, pursue the only profession academically. Here, the sporting profession or the sporting field is, is one of the biggest careers in this country. The rate at which people are making billions of dollars at the sporting field, those that are pursuing that those that are pursuing academics cannot even uh, cannot even raise that money or cannot even make that money in a year. The likes the likes of uh, Roger Federer, the likes of uh, 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 Venus Williams and uh, Serena Williams, the likes of all these tennis players that you know across the globe, the likes of uh, uh, Novak Djokovic, the money that they are making in a year. I wouldn't even say a year. The money that they're even making from a single tournament or a single competition, a single competition, there is no way a CEO of an organization of a company can even make that money in the, in the entire year. The money that tennis players are making in a single competition, you can work for almost about 10 years as a CEO of a company, you cannot make that money. So we shouldn't be 
uh, making it compulsory or strict for the children to always pursue professions in the academic field. No, it should be far from it. We should give them the chance and opportunity and access to be able to practice anything available to them to enable, to, to enable them to also become best in any field that they would want to pursue. So this is an example that I'm showing to African leaders. Now, if we decide to co consider this, if we decide to put systems like this in the schools across the African continent, in the next 10 years or 20 years to come, we are also going to get professional tennis players in the continent of Africa. How many professional tennis players do we have on the continent of Africa? How many? We don't have them because we don't have the facility for them to practice. We don't have the facility for them to go and train, to improve their skills, and to even consider them as a career. We don't have those systems. Those systems don't exist. So please, my dear African leaders, please, leaders of Ghana, please consider introducing systems like this in our schools. Our children need to be served with many options to choose from. Our children shouldn't be bossed with one option that if you don't choose from this, you'll become a failure in this world. If you don't pursue uh, a profession in the academics, you'll, you'll become a failure. You can never succeed and you can never become successful in life. That is not correct. That is not how the 21st century functions. So we have to be able to consider all these things. Yes, we should be able to consider all these things. How much does it cost to be able to put systems like this or structures like this or sporting facilities like this in our, in our schools, in our elementary schools, to start training the children, to start preparing the children for a great future? How much does it take? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sometimes when I think about these things, I feel like crying. And in my heart, I say, God should save Africa. Because now, if, 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 if the trains keep on going on, how, how is the African case going to compete with this case? How does it become possible? You see? Interesting. So if, the, if, if this trend doesn't stop and it keeps going on, how do we become uh, like, like com com competitive? It is not possible, you see. It is not possible. If this trend continues, it's not possible for us to become competitive. It is not possible. If this trend continues, it is not possible for us to become competitive. Yes. So we need to rise. We need to arise as a continent. To enable us to stay competitive, we need to arise as a continent. Oh, God save Africa. God save Africa. Just look at this astral death. You see? Oh man, God bless America. Uh, fellows, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to become partner to Africa My Heritage TV. And please, after subscribing, kindly also hit on the notification bell icon to enable you to receive alerts on new videos I'm going to upload. And uh, please like the video if, it, if, if it's appealing to you. And kindly use the comment button to enable us to stay connected and interrupted. Thank you and God bless you. Uh, I hope to see you again when the next opportunity presents itself with a new video. Thank you. Yeah. It's so, so nice and interesting. Oh, man, Africa. Man, it's so nice. You see? Let me go in. Thank you.